Hey, what's up guys? Tony from Tucker Speed here. This video, we're gonna do a bike breakdown, kind of a bike review. This is my personal road glide here, and it, it was basically a frame up build. Gonna just kind of walk through uh, front to back, top to bottom, and talk about everything that we kind of put into it. And this bike I got done putting together in its current form last summer, uh, summer of 2023. And uh, I got some changes coming to it uh, later on. Uh, just a little teaser there, but let's just jump into the motor and the, kind of the drivetrain first and, and start with what I got going on there. So this is a 2018 Road Glide. It started life as a 107. I got a Fuel Moto 124 Big War kit in it. All SNS cam chest components, oil pump, uh, tappet cuffs, adjustable push rods, and uh, put a Woods 77X cam in it. Kind of finished the top with a uh, SNS 55 millimeter throttle body. I got the Alloy Art Boombox air cleaner on there. And, and then finish off the motor with the Sly Fox Titanium 2 into 1 uh, that fits with mids. I'm also running the Speed Merchant mid controls on this setup. So on the primary side, I put in a Dark Horse Man of War compensator. And in the clutch, I'm a huge fan of the Recluse stuff. I have the Recluse basket with their torque drive clutch plates and the Recluse slave cylinder to kind of finish everything else off on the hydraulic clutch. So we also went chain drive on this setup. Got a PBI front. I don't remember the brand of the chain, but chain drive and then the Alloy Art rear sprocket uh, with the Kush drive just to finish it all off. And the drivetrain, you know, it's a great streetable setup. This thing made about, I think it was like 128 horse and 140 torque on the dyno. Uh, just a really good torque curve on it. Just really smooth power delivery. And just out on the street, it's a really fun bike to ride around. So uh, this combo, I was super happy with how it all came together. Uh, I, I dig the look and everything. You know, we, I did these white covers, white powder coat on all my engine covers, which is just a little bit different. You know, some of the guys around here call it the toilet bowl covers, but whatever, it's cool. I like it. It kind of, you know, it's different than some of the stuff and just kind of matches the paint. But I want to jump in and talk a little bit about the chassis and the, and the suspension and everything. But before I do that, I just want to thank the Law Tigers for sponsoring these videos and help making them happen. Uh, the Law Tigers are always there when you need them. They do a lot for the riding community. And if you're ever in the need, and I hope you're not, Law Tigers should be the first call after a motorcycle accident and they'll get you taken care of. So huge thanks to Law Tigers. Let's talk about body work. Body work a little bit. I got the Sly Fox carbon front fender. Uh, also running the Screaming Speed and Fab side covers. And as far as the rest of the body work, uh, tank, bearing, saddlebags, they're all OEM. Uh, and everything just painted to match. My good friend John from Raw 10 Garage painted this for me a couple of years ago kind of is a play off of my BRL race bike. This is kind of the white version of, of the BRL bike. It's the, the, the BRL is the black version of this paint scheme. So kind of plays well together and they look kind of cool sitting side by side. All right, so as far as suspension goes up front, I have the Alloy Art fork lowers uh, in the raw aluminum. I have the Arlen Ness black 49 millimeter fork tubes. And inside I've got the Legends plus two cartridges set up there. And then out back I have 14 inch uh, Revo arcs from Legends and with the piggybacks mounted up top just to kind of show them off and let everybody wonder what they are. I get a lot of questions of like, what is this? What are these? So, but they're kind of cool and, they, and the bike rides fantastic. Uh, I've ridden this bike both solo and two up and the bike handles amazingly both ways. Uh, whether I'm just kind of <clears throat> cruising through the canyon with my wife or if we're kind of really getting after it. Um, going up over the canyon or whatever. On the back end, I also have the Alloy Art uh, rear swing arm, aluminum swing arm. This is their latest version. Uh, it's got a couple of different fork, or uh, not fork, but shock mounting locations. It's got the uh, hooks for like a sport bike stand, a little bit different angle on it. It's clearance to run even taller shocks if you're trying to build a race bike. Uh, that swing arm there has had some evolution over time especially after racing and seeing the requirements of race bikes. So that's a really cool swimming arm and I dig it. A few other Alloy Art products that I have on the bike too. I have their rear uh, cleave block mount, the front uh, motor mount. I'm also running their uh, chassis stabilizer. All the things that are helping to make this bike a little bit more rigid. And uh, also the aluminum parts just kind of offset and look very custom. Uh, I'm also running this Bunking crash bar, kind of painted to match. 
just in case I do hit the deck. Uh, as far as brakes go, my calipers of choice, my favorite calipers out there are the Behringers. Uh, this bike I set up uh, with the Aerotech four pistons in chrome, two up front, one out back. The back is using a Kraus uh, radial caliper mount. Obviously the fronts, uh, when I order the fork lowers, I order them with the radial caliper mounts to go along with them to mount those and then finish the brakes with Galper wave rotors uh, front and rear. Uh, as far as brake levers go, I'm running the Oberon levers up front, brake lever and clutch lever. And then obviously on the rear brake, it's all incorporated into those Speed Merchant mid controls. So uh, yeah, that's kind of braking and suspension there. Uh, we covered body work. So yeah, the handlebars, I'm running the Boosted Brad 8 inch straight risers, kind of painted or powder coated to match. The handlebars are ODI MX podium bars. I'm finishing off with the ODI Vans grips. And my gauge relocation, uh, that pod is from Kraus Moto. Finish it off with the step up seat. The Saddleman step up, I'm running the Speed Merchant foot controls. And there's a lot of other goodies. I'm running a, all my lighting is uh, from Custom Dynamics. Uh, front turn signals, the rear, I'm running just the bag fillers is all my light controls and then their license plate, uh, curved license plate on the back fender. Arlen Nest mirrors, Clockworks front uh, windshield. So yeah, this bike's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm getting ready, I got some goodies behind me that we're gonna be changing a few things up here pretty quick and I'll maybe do another couple videos on what we're doing later on. But yeah, this is the bike. I'm gonna fire it up, let you guys hear it. If you guys have any questions on the build, just uh, drop a comment below. Um, love to hear what you have to say, what you think. Thanks for watching. So as far as suspension goes, up front I have the Alloy Art lower uh, fork lowers, lower fork lowers, you know, <laughs> that are on the low part of the fork. <laughs> uh, please don't start this already, this early. All right, all right. So as far as suspension goes, up front I have the Arlet. Fuck. Now I'm going to start fucking struggling. Uh, lower forks. Fork lower. I don't know. I, I know what I need to say, but what I say is something different. <laughs>